Welcome to another road trip video. This time we'll be visiting the Onisha River port. There's been a lot of news about the river port lately. So in order to cure our curiosity, we want to visit the port and see for ourselves. So sit tight, join the ride. Let's go and uh, feed our eyes together. Uh, uh, also make sure to watch other road trip videos we've done. We've done the one from, uh, we drove down from Ogidi to Mpo, passing Limka Road and to Oka Road and down to Holy Trinity. We also did a continuation of that one with uh, 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 the one we went uh, to Apakajiare, where we have beautiful mansions, but unfortunately the roads uh, are, are, are bumpy and dusty. The authorities do not recognize that this is our own ocean view uh, uh, estate. Yes, there's other ones like the one in Newi. Uh, Newi has changed so much. Okay, uh, actually here uh, is an old uh, cemetery. That's the street. We are trying to get out uh, to Uguta Road. Uh, going straight leads to, uh, what is it called? Uh, Inland Town, yes. Then we we'll take right to Opai Weka. Uh, when we get to Opai Weka, we will uh, join the Onisha Enugu Expressway. Uh, we we'll take that down to the bridgehead. When we get to the bridgehead, now we we'll take right to enter the Onisha River port. Yes, uh, like in the other video, we talked about uh, some prominent sons of Onisha. Yes, Onisha. Uh, of course, you already know uh, Nnam Diazikiwe, uh, the former Nigerian president. He's from Onisha. We also mentioned uh, uh, Opa Biasika, who was a, a former administrator of the uh, uh, East Central State in, uh, after the war. Uh, there's also Bishop Onyabo, the first Anglican bishop of Igbo uh, uh, extraction uh, in Nigeria. Uh, we also have uh, uh, Louis Mbanefo. He was the first Igbo lawyer and uh, uh, also former Supreme Court judge. We also have uh, 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 Justice Anye Bunam, who was also a former Chief Judge of the Federal High Court. Uh, he, he, of course, uh, a lot of you who remember, he was there in the 80s. Yes. We also have uh, Ben and Wong, uh, who, uh, of course, very known, but uh, maybe. Uh, people don't know him now. He was a painter and a sculptor. He was actually uh, uh, was the uh, first person from this part of the world that did exhibitions, art exhibitions in the US, in Europe. He, he threw a lot of light uh, for uh, uh, upcoming artists uh, uh, and the likes. Yes, Onisha has a lot of prominent sons. Uh, they have contributed to their own uh, 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 part in the development of uh, not only I the Igbo uh, nation, but also uh, Nigeria at large. Yes, actually, this is CKC we are passing. Yes, uh, if you are an alma mater of uh, CKC, please signify in the comment section. Also, talking about Onisha, Onisha actually has uh, uh, 22 quarters. Uh, it comprises, uh, I wouldn't be able to remember all of them, but uh, we have uh, Isiokwe, Oboli, the Oboli Ekes and the Oboli Olosis, Oboza, Obabo, Omoase, Umudei, and uh, uh, Obotu and the rest. Yes. Uh, of course, they have uh, uh, their, the normal traditional way of uh, 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 choosing their uh, king. Uh, in Onisha, they call it uh, the Obi. Yes, uh, others call, use, uh, call it as Igwe, but in Onisha, it is known as Obi. Uh, the current uh, Igwe is actually uh, Obi. The Obi of Onisha is uh, Igwe Alfred Nemeka. Yes. Uh, 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 talking about the Onisha River port, uh, the port was actually built in the 80s by the Shagari administration, yes. But uh, since then, it has sort of uh, not been functioning. Uh, it was uh, just recently the last administration did some rehab rehabilitation work there. 
they came and uh, commissioned it. Uh, it was flashed in the dailies, on, online. We all saw them, but uh, mm, it hasn't been uh, much functional. Nothing much has been going on. Then last year, we saw uh, some uh, uh, badges bringing containers to the port, uh, signifying the, uh, uh, that uh, it will become fully functional right now. Uh, but uh, news coming in shows that uh, they will be uh, finalizing the uh, uh, what is it called uh, the uh, privatization uh, that sort of a concessioning of the port to a company that will manage it. Uh, they say they will, will finish that uh, round that up in the first quarter of this year. Uh, the first quarter, of course, is uh, from January to March of this year 2021 so we eagerly wait onisha businessmen eagerly wait because it will reduce a lot of costs uh, for them business costs in transportation from a papa wharf to uh, e to down to onisha and uh, of course uh, shipping companies will want you to pay a, a deposit in case the container the truck falls on the road or has an accident insurance and all that is a lot of stress so uh, it will it will boost business in this area it will boost business in this area when you just have the port at the backyard imagine main market or other uh, markets that use uh, uh, import goods through container um, having to just get them at their backyard you know and uh, deliver to their warehouses yes right now we are at op work we just take la left and they join the expressway yes actually here is looking much neater and uh, you know not uh, terribly congested uh, they've done really done a good work here clearing the the whole place it used to be filled up with all sorts of stalls people selling traffic they actually there used to be a taxi park here uh, the car park uh, the taxi park here when you come down most of course most uh, buses most transport uh, uh, public transport uh, vehicles they used to stop at, at op work so you just hop in take a taxi and get into town yes we we'll we'll join here join the express here and then uh, we'll head down to the bridgehead uh, uh, when we reach the bridgehead now we'll negotiate our way into the port i know the port is um, uh, we might not ha get access but we'll try and uh, see what we can get for uh, to feed our eyes and uh, yes here also it's looking very clean unlike before it used to be nearly impossible uh, but the government really has done a good work uh, of course the expressway is a federal uh, expressway uh, they've done a good work in maintaining the place it's looking neater and uh, yeah uh, uh, and traffic is quite reduced you know because they've broadened the road they've uh yeah that's it hmm, what this guy driving hmm. okay and he's coming back in Ooh. and just a reminder guys make sure to subscribe and enable notifications so that when videos uh, road trip videos like this drop you'll be notified to watch you can also follow us on facebook and instagram yes after this visit uh, to the onisha river port we'll be going over to the other side of the expressway the it's called the harbor industrial estate uh, where we have uh, a lot of uh, uh, factories it's, it's like a manufacturing hub we are uh, many factories set up and uh, you know yes we'll be going over there to take a look and see uh, what will happen but 
not sure if he's going to uh, uh, be in this video so make sure to subscribe and enable notifications so that even if it's in the next video you'll be notified to watch thanks Yes, about the river port. Uh, right now, they will be receiving goods, uh, containers through barges uh, from nearby ports, uh, the Oné port in Port Harcourt, uh, and maybe that of Apapa. They will be receiving goods through barges. Uh, uh, these are the uh, this is the essence of a, a, a good infrastructure. Just like in the United States, uh, they use rail. Uh, to ship containers, move containers from uh, places to places where they don't have seaports. Uh, for, uh, as for example, in the Midwest, people who are uh, nearer to New York they, or New Jersey, they move the containers to inland terminals. Yeah, and uh, uh, we pray that maybe they will, they, when the rail, the proposed rail, yes, we have to take right here then take left. Uh, we pray that uh, when the, uh, uh, the proposed rail line that was supposed to pass on Nisha, uh, 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 maybe by that time, uh, if it's functional, the, the rail, uh, the containers will be moved by, by train. Uh, that will make it equally cheaper, uh, you know, because the, the container, uh, the, uh, the train will be able to carry more containers at a time. Uh, the economics of scale that will reduce the cost of the of transportation uh, yes and uh, uh, the one fun thing one good thing about this is that it will be on the shipping uh, company uh, uh, or rather the port uh, management authority uh, uh, there, there's there wouldn't be a, risk, a need for the owner of the container now to start paying all those fees that are charged okay we are the entrance Oh, thanks goodness, we are in. Oh, what a nice view from here. This is the River Niger and the uh, 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 the bridge, the Onisha Bridge. Uh, this bridge, of course, you all know, it was built, uh, that was 1965, and was quickly destroyed during the war. <laughs> the war broke out uh, in 67, and uh, uh, this, the bridge was uh, later rebuilt in 1970 of course we'll pay a visit to the new bridge under construction just stay tuned on the channel okay all right we're in wow wow just wow this is one giant pulley on wheels so that you can move around and uh, for mobility and there are two of them uh, yes it's a small river port they don't have need for the giant cranes or sheaves we see uh, in other bigger ports yes uh, it seems they are working on uh, a barge yes Mm, like like already said, they promised to get in, uh, start full operation uh, uh, this first uh, uh, quarter of this year. They will be starting full operations. Uh, uh, and maybe they will that, they will give this place a real first lift. Uh, uh, and uh, yes, let's go and uh, turn down there. And see if we can have a view of the containers there are stacked containers there uh, yes this place is quite expansive but why when entering it seems uh, it's a little bit small this these places they are all the uh, they are, yes this is a container uh, uh, stacked containers where they stack them maybe they lift from here then move them with trucks uh, deep inside there mm, yes have a look of at what they are doing
Oh, this is a beautiful uh, uh, development. Uh, you see, these things are really needed to enhance business. Uh, all the cities should not depend uh, on, uh, on a single seaport or maybe two seaports. Yes. Okay, we'll find our way to leave. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Thanks. And uh, we'll be uh, driving to uh, the uh, harbor, the harbor industrial estate. Make sure to subscribe so that you'll be notified when the new video pops up. Thanks for watching.